Hello, dear brothers and sisters. It is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm 50, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this psalm and discover the transformative truths it offers us. Psalm 50, a poetic masterpiece attributed to King David and based on the Bible's Book of Psalms, emerges as a powerful call to spiritual reflection and repentance. Commonly known as the Psalm of Confession, this sacred composition is often associated with the tumultuous events that marked the monarch's life, especially his involvement in the adultery scandal with Bathsheba and his subsequent search for divine forgiveness. This psalm begins with a magnificent invocation to the Mighty One, to God, the Lord, who speaks and summons the entire earth from dawn to dusk. The image of God shining from Zion, perfect in beauty, sets the stage for a majestic revelation. The language used evokes an imposing vision, describing God not as a distant and silent being, but as someone who will not remain silent in the face of the actions of humanity. The electrically charged atmosphere is painted with the image of God, whose arrival is accompanied by a devouring fire and a raging storm. This representation visualizes the divine presence as something impressive and irresistible, evoking deep reverence. It is as if the psalmist sought to capture the attention of the reader or listener, instigating an intense understanding of the magnitude of divinity. As Psalm 50 unfolds, it becomes clear that this is not just a historical account, but a profound plea for mercy and restoration. The context of David's transgression serves as a backdrop for the central message of the psalm. The true nature of sacrifice and the importance of a genuine approach to worship. The narrative of Psalm 50 highlights the need for a contrite heart and authentic worship, emphasizing that empty ritual is not enough. The appeal to sincerity and humility before God permeates the message, inviting us to reflect on the motivations behind religious acts. Ultimately, Psalm 50 transcends its historical origin, rising to a powerful meditation on the search for forgiveness, the true essence of worship, and the importance of sincerity in the human relationship with the divine. This psalm continues to resonate through the ages, challenging believers to examine their own hearts and approach God with humility and authenticity. The grandeur of Psalm 50, attributed to the wise King David and included in the divine compendium of Psalms, reveals itself as a sublime call to spiritual introspection and the yearning for reconciliation. Commonly known as the Psalm of Confession, this poetic masterpiece emerges from the intricate pages of the biblical narrative, intertwining with the tumultuous events that marked the monarch's life, notably his involvement in the adultery scandal with Bathsheba and the subsequent search for by divine forgiveness. The epic of this psalm begins with a majestic invocation to the powerful one, to God, the Lord, whose voice resounds and summons not only a specific geographic region, but the entire expanse of the earth, from the starting point of dawn to the final twilight of the sunset. The imposing vision of God radiating from Zion, like a glow of unparalleled beauty, establishes a heavenly setting where divinity manifests itself in its fullness. In this sublime description, God is not portrayed as a distant and taciturn observer, but as the being who will not remain impassive in the face of human deeds. The atmosphere, permeated with spiritual electricity, is vividly painted with the image of God, whose arrival is preceded by a ravenous fire and a raging storm. This representation visualizes the divine presence as something overwhelming and irresistible, provoking a reverence that transcends human understanding. It seems that the psalmist, in weaving this linguistic tapestry, seeks not only to narrate, but to involve the reader or listener in a visceral experience of the divine presence. As the stanzas of Psalm 50 unfold, it becomes clear that this is not just a historical chronicle, but a profound plea for mercy and restoration. The context of David's transgression serves as a backdrop to the psalm's essential message. The genuine nature of sacrifice and the imperative of an authentic approach to worship. The narrative of this psalm highlights the need for a contrite heart and worship devoid of artifice, emphasizing that empty ritual is not enough in the face of divine magnitude. 
The appeal to sincerity and humility before God permeates each verse, instigating deep contemplation on the motivations that drive religious acts. In short, Psalm 50 transcends its historical context, rising to a powerful meditation on the search for forgiveness, the true essence of worship, and the imperative of sincerity in the human relationship with the transcendental. This psalm reverberates throughout the ages, challenging believers to scrutinize their own hearts and approach the divine with humility and authenticity, perpetuating itself as a perennial source of spiritual inspiration. Now we will meditate on Psalm 50, and then we will say a prayer, and then we will pray the Our Father. The Mighty One, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth, from the rising of the sun to where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. My Lord and Heavenly Father, grant this person strength to overcome life's difficulties, especially those caused by rejection from relatives and friends. Renew your energy, Lord, and bring new energy to these people. We know that you are holy and that we depend entirely on you. Lord, my God and my Father, I recognize that many people are facing difficulties in their lives. There are those who are burdened with debt and others who seem to be stuck in a stagnant situation with no progress. However, I trust you to bless us all. I ask that you bring prosperity to your sons and daughters who face such challenges. May you unlock the paths that seem closed and bring new opportunities. Lord, extend your hands of help to each of them, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty Lord, in your infinite mercy and love, I cry out for your abundant blessings upon us all. Do not allow, Heavenly Father, your children to become discouraged or give up in the face of life's adversities. Pour your divine strength upon us, renew our hopes, and give new encouragement to our lives. We recognize, Lord, that we often find ourselves stuck in situations that don't seem to change year after year. We feel stuck, stagnant in a cycle that doesn't change. But, Lord, we know that in you there is power to transform any reality. Therefore, we ask you, kind God, to intervene in our lives, breaking these chains that bind us and prevent us from moving forward. May your divine light illuminate our path, showing us new opportunities and directions. May your powerful hand guide us out of stagnation and lead us towards growth and the realization of your plans for us. Grant us, Lord, discernment to see the necessary changes in our lives and courage to make them. Bless, Lord, each person present here who reads these words with a heart open to your will. You know, O oh Father, the struggles and difficulties that each one faces. Therefore, we beseech you, Lord, to bring hope where there is despair, to bring comfort where there is pain, to grant peace where there is anguish. May each of us be strengthened in our faith, fully trusting in your providence and unconditional love. May our lives be living testimonies of your transforming power, Lord, so that others may also be reached by your grace and mercy. In you we place our trust, Lord, and we lift this prayer with gratitude in our hearts. May your blessings accompany us in every step, today and always. My God and my Heavenly Father, I humbly come into your presence to implore your blessings upon your children. Let there be no shortage of daily bread, Lord, as we trust in you to provide abundantly. Look with compassion at those who are distressed and worried, who cannot find peace or sleep because of debts and other problems. Intervene, Lord, in favor of your children, taking measures in their lives. Bless, Lord, your daughter who cries for help today, hear her pleas and strengthen her faith. She hears the prayers of all who cry out to you at this time, and may there not be a lack of your blessing in their lives. Deliver them from all the snares of the spiritual enemy, O Lord, and fill them with your peace that passes all understanding. May each one feel the touch of your love and the certainty of your constant presence. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, Heavenly Father, I come before you to pray your blessings upon your children. Let there be no lack of daily sustenance, as we trust in your abundant provision. Look with compassion on those distressed and worried, unable to find peace or sleep due to debts and other problems. Intervene on behalf of your children, taking action in their lives. 
Bless your daughter who cries for help today. Hear your supplications and strengthen your faith. Hear the prayers of all who cry out to you at this time, and may your blessing be constant in their lives. Deliver them from all the snares of the spiritual enemy and grant them your supernatural peace. May each one feel your love and the certainty of your presence. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I stand before your presence to beseech your blessings upon your beloved sons and daughters. May you never lack daily provision as we fully trust in your kindness and constant care. Look with mercy on those who are afflicted and anxious, unable to find tranquility due to worries about debts and other adversities. Intervene, O Lord, in their lives, acting with your sovereign power to bring relief and solution to their problems. May your daughter who cries for help today be enveloped by your peace and strengthened in her faith. Grant, compassionate Father, the petitions of all who cry out to you at this time, and may your blessing be poured out upon them abundantly. Free them from all the wiles of the spiritual enemy and grant them the tranquility that only you can offer. May each one deeply experience the love that you emanate and the unshakable certainty of your constant presence. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly God, I stand before your presence to beg your blessings upon your beloved sons and daughters. May you never lack daily provision as we fully trust in your kindness and constant care. Look with mercy on those who are afflicted and anxious, unable to find tranquility due to worries about debts and other adversities. Intervene, O Lord, in their lives, acting with your sovereign power to bring relief and solution to their problems. May your daughter who cries for help today be enveloped by your peace and strengthened in her faith. Grant, compassionate Father, the petitions of all who cry out to you at this time, and may your blessing be poured out upon them abundantly. Free them from all the wiles of the spiritual enemy and grant them the tranquility that only you can offer. May each one deeply experience the love that you emanate and the unshakable certainty of your constant presence. In the name of Jesus, I come before your majesty to plead for your gracious blessing upon your beloved sons and daughters. May they never lack daily sustenance as we fully trust in your generosity and constant care. Look with compassion at those who face anguish and anxieties, unable to find peace due to worries about debt and other adversities. Intervene, O Lord, in their lives, manifesting your sovereign power to bring comfort and solution to their problems. May your daughter who cries for help today be enveloped by your peace and strengthened in her faith. Answer, O loving Father, the petitions of all who cry out to you at this time, and may your blessing reach them abundantly. Free them from all the traps of the spiritual enemy and grant them the security that only you can offer. May each one feel deeply the warmth of your love and the certainty of your constant presence. In the name of Jesus, may the blessing of the Lord rest upon everyone, protecting them from all evil and the snare of the enemy. May all evil strategies be undone and may any trap be nullified by the light of his presence. We ask the Lord to remove all anguish, fear, affliction and anxiety that may plague hearts, replacing them with peace that surpasses all understanding. May every burden on the body, every negative energy, and every spiritual weight be dissipated by His grace and restorative power. In the name of Jesus, we trust in His promise of deliverance and healing, placing our faith in His ability to transform every situation for the good of those who love Him. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, that will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. The epilogue of Psalm 50 culminates in a spiritual climax, interweaving the threads of David's story with a timeless reflection on the nature of redemption. As the sacred narrative unfolds, we are led through the intricacies of transgression and the desperate search for forgiveness, outlining an emotional arc that resonates beyond the centuries. The grandeur of this psalm transcends mere poetry and stands as a vivid testimony of the human journey towards divinity. The final verses echo like a compassionate echo, offering not only a response to human frailty, but outlining a path to redemption. At this climax, hope emerges, 
Radiant is the light that shines from Zion, indicating that, even amid the wreckage of human fallibility, divine mercy is an inextinguishable flame. The resonance of this psalm in human experience transcends the confines of time and culture, challenging each soul to consider its position in the sacred. The ethereal message emanating from these ancient words is a call to authenticity, a summons beyond empty ritualism toward a sincere communion with the transcendental. In the outcome, we are confronted with the reality that divine forgiveness is not a deserved prize, but a gracious gift. The conclusion of Psalm 50 is not just a literary closure, but an invitation to spiritual transformation. Each word resonates like a promise, whispering that even in the depths of sin, the sincere search for God finds an answer and restoration is possible. As we conclude this spiritual journey through Psalm 50, we are reminded that this ancient poetry is more than a historical account. It is a mirror that reflects the complexity of the human soul and the compassionate response of the divine. May each reader and listener, as they absorb these immortal words, find inspiration for their own journey of repentance, genuine worship, and, ultimately, redemption. May the echo of this psalm echo eternally, guiding those who seek the divine presence with contrite and humble hearts.